So, um, hello everybody, and welcome to this, the 25th season of the Frilly Alumni Choir. And as I think I mentioned the program, it only took us 27 years to get here. We took a couple years off due to the COVID, and so we are really happy to be back together singing. Um, what you're gonna hear this afternoon is you're gonna hear some songs that have been performed by this choir over the past 25 years, as well as some new songs. So um, you're also um, going to hear the Friday High School Concert Choir, and we're just thrilled that they're here to be part of our program this afternoon. And we're also very thrilled that a couple past Friday High School choir directors, Mr. Bruce Messer and Mr. Dave Ryan, are each here, and they will each sing, I mean, conduct a song <laughs> for you, a part of our 25th season. And if that's not enough excitement for one day, we're also here to dedicate this brand new, beautiful Kauai Grand Piano this afternoon. We're really excited about that. Yeah, yeah. So I hope at this point you've turned off anything that makes a noise. Um, should, well, okay. Um, enough said about that. Thank you for your... Um, also in your program, there's a ballot, a half-page white sheet where you get to vote. You get to vote on your favorite song of the afternoon, and that song will be repeated at our next concert, hopefully next year. So, we're, um, so take a vote, uh, listen to all the songs. You'll notice that the very last song in the program, Over the Rainbow, is not on your ballot. That's because that was the audience favorite at our last concert, and songs not win twice in a row. Um, it's a long story, but trust me. Okay, <laughs> just, like, just like the audience gets to vote on a favorite, the choir gets to vote on a favorite as well, and you'll hear that a little bit later in the program. So, I think that is it. We're gonna open our concert with a song called When We Sing, which was composed by a Twin Cities-based composer just this year, Linda Kacklemeyer. And, you know, after being away two years due to COVID, um, which basically shut down all choirs and choral organizations in the world for two years, to get back together and sing like this is just so heartening and just so, it, it just does something for, for us. And so it is so great to be able to sing together again. And this song explains why. This is um, When We Sing.
And now, hello, so this is working. So now it's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Dave Ryan, who will um, conduct the song Blow, Blow the Winter Wind. And Dave Ryan uh, is a former high school choir director here for the high school. Happened to be my high school choir director when I was a student here for three years back in the 70s. And um, Dave Ryan is one of the reasons why I thought that I should go into music, specifically choral music as my career. And um, I don't want to get weepy up here, but you know, when there are, there are people in your lives that make a huge difference, I'm happy to say that Dave Ryan is one of those people in my life. So thank you, Dave, for being here. Blue, blue, 
now is the time that we're going to talk about this new piano, this uh, piano that was gifted to the Fritty School District just a couple of weeks ago. And the story goes, oh, this would be time for you folks to come on up. So the story goes that before school started, I was here at the high school digging through the music library, the choral library, trying to figure out what songs are here that the alumni choir could borrow. And we were standing out in the hallway talking, Mr. Johnson and Mr. Sander, um, Mr. Wald here. Um, and we're talking about, wouldn't it be nice if there was a grand piano here for this auditorium? Um, the other one we had was too high, it was not, not, not really a, anyway, it had some issues and we, wouldn't it be nice if we had a grand piano? And I said, hey, I know a guy. <laughs> I said, I know a guy. So let me, let me see what I can do. And so we have a steering committee, an alumni choir steering committee that met, uh, actually we met via Zoom, I think. And I, I told him the story and um, I said, hey, how about this guy, Greg Frankenfield? And Wanda said, oh, I'll write him a letter. I'll write him a letter. Fantastic. Well, long story short, a few days later, I get a text from Wanda saying, and so I'm thinking, well, maybe we can get him to make a major gift to start a fund, you know, a major fund drive, right? And then Wanda texts me and says, he's, um, he and his family foundation are buying the whole thing. So, ladies and gentlemen, I give you our benefactor, Greg Frankenfield. You know you're applauding for money, right? <laughs> On behalf of my family foundation, my daughter, Jessa, and my wife, Marissa, we're very honored to be able to donate, and I'm a crier, so I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna get it out of the way quick. Um, we're very honored and humbled to be able to donate this beautiful piano, which my daughter walking in said, can I get to play that? That's kind of nice. <laughs> Music, theater, musical theater has been an important part of my life. It's one of the foundations that I talk about when I talk about what helped me in my life. And Randy's timing, Randy and Wanda's timing was perfect. I sold my company 20 months ago and I was flush. So it worked out. <laughs> Fantastic. One of the things that we wanted to do when we donated this beautiful instrument was to dedicate it to Gary Zender, who was like Randy's teacher, Dave, uh, Mr. Ryan. <laughs> Mr. Zender was very influential in my life, was my theater director. And today, uh, theater is still a part of my life as my wife and I run the Old Log Theater and Cast and Crew Restaurant. And so it continued throughout our lives, and so it is my honor to dedicate this piano in the hope that future generations will benefit in the way I did. Thank you. I'm very honored. My second year here at Fridley, there was a precocious sophomore who walked into my classroom. His name was Greg, <laughs> Greg Franken. And he said, I want to be your technical director for Bye Bye Birdie. And uh, I'm, who is this sophomore? Why do you talk like that? He has, I didn't even know him. He hadn't even been here very long. I was new to the district. And he turned out not only to be one of the best tech directors I've had, also a wonderful actor and an even better person. And then, I'm just going to tell you a thing that has made a big impression on me. During uh, COVID, I wondered if we'd ever see this moment again. And I didn't think I'd 
if I were speaking, I'd say this, but I'll tell you what happened. Um, in March of 2020, as you well know, if you want groceries, it's probably safest to just do it online and go and pick them up. So we went, Jane, my wife Jane and I went and picked them up at the grocery store, and a young girl came out with our shopping cart full of our groceries. And she put them in the trunk, and Jane, my wife said to her, can we give you a tip? And she said, pray for me. This was in March, after the middle of March, and she didn't know what was going to happen, and she worked at the grocery store, and they sent her out with the uh, carts. We have to really take this in tonight because it's special. And I think Dave Ryan, I think Randy Ettinger, and this choir have made it so, and this gift that Greg and Marissa and Jessa and their family have given makes a statement. It's a beautiful piano, but that statement that I see in it is the performing arts are important. And I'll come back to the performing arts in this choir in just a moment, but I do want to say it doesn't escape me that Greg Marissa and family have made a gift to their community also by keeping the old log, a vital theater in the area. And this alumni choir is a vital choir and a gift to this community. I just listened to three or four songs that were absolutely beautiful. And I am so thankful to be around such talented people, such a wonderful audience, and the fact we're all doing this just as life was before COVID. So I wish everybody well. Greg, I thank you for the honor. Um, all of you, I'm so appreciative and happy to be here. Thank you. So now it's my honor and privilege to introduce the superintendent of Fridley Public Schools, Dr. Heil. Hi, scholars. How are you? <laughs> uh, good afternoon, everyone. I am Kim Heil. I'm my fifth year as superintendent here at Fridley Public Schools. Um, I've been thinking about where we come up on stage and we say thank you, and that's such a simple thing. It's such a simple thing to say to Greg and your beautiful family and the Frankenfeld Foundation that we need to slow down. When I came to Fridley, the first thing I started to understand, and our young kids, students won't understand, it used to be something called the six degrees of separation of Kevin Bacon. And what that meant was whoever you talked to, someone else knew. And I don't know if you know that, that's what Fridley is. You can be up in Ely and someone will go, where my mother or my grandparent or whatever lives in Fridley. So that was the first thing I understood. The second thing is the community that is here in Fridley. You support us, thank you. The arts mean so much to us. At the point where I was gonna look at developing our arts program more, we got hit by COVID. So I do want to let you know as well as everyone else, we're currently looking at our current um, arts program and see how we can start it even younger and make it even stronger. But, you know, <laughs> but um, uh, I'm a theater rat. I love the theater. My children are theater and musicians, and the, the singing stunned me a little while ago. And so far, my favorite song here is Never Walk Along, Alone, because in Fridley and with your community, you never allow us to do that. We're never by ourselves. The history is always here. It's not always a monetary support, but it's a heart support that keeps us going. And I thank this community from the bottom of our heart for taking care of Fridley Public Schools and our scholars. Thank you.
All right, alumni choir. Here we go. Second half. Oh, oh my God, no, I forgot. Thank you, Andrew. Oh my God. So, as you were. So, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. So, when I put this program together, I thought, gosh, we need really to christen this piano. And I thought, oh, well, let's buy a bottle of champagne and just crack it over the edge, like they christened ships. And then I thought, well, that's probably not right, but let's have a, a, an alum, a student, somebody from Fridley, christen this with a piano solo. And I'm so happy to have met Andrew Wagner today from the class of 2018, who'll be playing a solo called Primavera by, who is it by? Ludovico Anaudi. Anaudi, thank you very much. Here we go, Andrew. <laughs> was the choir's favorite from the last time we had a concert. So just like you get to vote on your favorite and repeat, the choir does the same thing. And they voted for No Time, which is um, in this set. Also in the set is a, call, a song called Out of the Ashes. 
And that is a song that this uh, choir commissioned to be written to commemorate our 20th anniversary, which of course you would think would be five years ago, but no, it's actually seven years ago because of COVID. So in our 20th season, we commissioned Out of the Ashes. And also in this set, you're going to hear Sure on This Shining Night, which um, somebody at the beginning of the season asked me my favorite song. I said, well, I kind of like Sure on the Shining Night. Well, yesterday at rehearsal, I was gifted a framed autographed <coughs> copy, autographed by the composer of Sure on the Shining Night. So I, I am deeply touched and I thank the choir for that. But the first song on, on this set is How Can I Keep From Singing, which is going to be conducted by another former Fridley High School choir director. This is Mr. Bruce Messer. Yeah. 
Hi, I'm Joe Mikulich Young, and I'm really, really glad to see all of you here today. It is such a delight for us to be back together singing. It's even more fun to be singing with you in the audience. So thank you so much for being here today. As Randy said, it's our 25th performance here, our 27th year of choir, and I get to do the pitch, so to speak, because in those 25 years, not only have we been singing for fun, which it really is for all of us, but we've also been singing to be able to support performing arts in the schools. In those 25 years, some of the things that we've accomplished have been over $96,000 in scholarships for students who are graduating in the performing arts. We helped participate in purchasing those rises. We actually purchased the upright piano that this beauty replaced, so thank you for that. Um, and we've done other things that have just helped to promote the arts in the school. Um, Gary, you talked about being up here on the stage. Greg, you've talked about it. Randy, you did too. I just want you to know that before I met and married Jim, I really was married to Randy first, here on this stage. So. But anyway, um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have some people passing around some baskets. And if you feel like donating, we'd love that. If you wanna write a check out, please make the check to the Fridley Schools Foundation. That is a 501c3, so it's a tax deduction. Um, and so that way, what you, your money will help continue to fund scholarships. What I want to tell you is obviously, you know, COVID shut everything down, right? But we did have performances in 2019. And in the 2020 school year, we still awarded three scholarships to um, Daniel Tawe, Jada Probasco, and Valente Moorhead. In 2020, 2021, even though we didn't have a concert, I know Randy's going to talk about this, we did a video and people still volunteered to donate their money in some time. And in that year, we were able to award scholarships to Aya Abdul Wahid, Cassidy Callahan, Dave Ryan's granddaughter, and Eric Hill. And then, yeah. And this past year, we were able, for the 2022 graduating seniors, we were able to donate um, for two um, scholarships to uh, Karina Daniels Carlson and to Helen Riddle, who is the daughter of Chris Riddle within our choir. And that's because of you and your generosity. So thank you, thank you very much. So now as our um, people will come uh, collecting your money or passing the basket, I get to um, tell you a little bit about this choir. This is our 25th season, as you heard, and just a few little uh, tidbits about the past. And while I'm talking, the uh, high school choir will be taking their spots. So in 1995, in 1995, there was a variety show put together to commemorate the 25th anniversary of this very auditorium, and they called it a sterling performance. I think Gary Zender was involved with that, Dave Ryan was involved with that, a lot of people in this room were involved with that. A sterling performance, 25 years, silver anniversary, sterling performance, get it? Good. Okay, so Dave Ryan, as you uh, met today, uh, he put together a choir of alumni for that, for, that 20, or for that 25th anniversary, and there happens to be one song in today's program that was performed at that very first alumni choir concert. Any guesses? Of course, you know it's Blow, Blow, the Winter Wind, the same song Dave Ryan just directed. Right, so he put that, so he directed that in 1996, and also then again at, the, um, at today's concert. Okay, so um, in 2004, another pivotal year for this group, Dave Ryan decides he's had enough, and he's decided that, the, that his time as director of this group is done. So what does the choir do? They have a farewell performance, right? Farewell performance saying goodbye to Dave Ryan. And so at that farewell performance, there was one song performed at that farewell performance that was also on today's program. Any ideas what that might be? Blow, blow, the winter wind, the song that Dave Ryan just directed again. Right, right. So after that 2004 farewell performance, people in the choir said, um, just because Dave is done doesn't mean that we have to be done, right? So they looked around the room, they looked around the room, they looked at me, I said, oh, are you kidding? 
okay, all right, I'll try. I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. And that was 2004, 2005. So I've been here since, oh my God. Okay, so I've been here ever since. Um, and then over the course of the year, the, you see the, the high school choir here. The high school choir has joined us. We're going to do a joint number um, today, which we've done for the last few years, which has been really fun. And you heard about our video that we did a couple years ago, which is on YouTube. It's still there. If you uh, video, I mean, if you Google for the alumni choir, you should find it. It's got over 1,000 views, over 1,000 views to date. And I think only about 500 of them are my mother's. So, so <laughs> thanks, Mom. So, so she's responsible for about 500 of those views, so I appreciate that. Um, so I know you're wondering about how many different people have been in this choir since 1996. That answer is 163. 163 different people have sung in this alumni choir, and so now I shall read off all of their names. And so, now, now, now some have been in the choir all 25 years. Some of these people have been in a few years, and for some people, this is their first year in this choir. So we've had alumni bring in their friends and their family, and, and, the, and, the, um, and the party continues. That's fantastic. So I bet you're also wondering how many different songs this alumni choir has sung over the past 25 seasons, aren't you? Yes, that answer is 160, 160 different songs this choir has sung over the last 25 years, and now I shall read off the whole list. And then, no. So the most repeated song I can tell you is the Hallelujah Chorus, because we did that every year there for a while. And what do you think the second most repeated song has been? Yeah, it's fast learners, blow, blow, the winter wind. So thank you again. <laughs> thank you again to the singers and you, the audience, for being part of 25 seasons. Or if this is your first, thank you for being part of our first, your first season, our 25th. Um, 25 years, it is certainly an accomplishment worth celebrating. And now I'd like to introduce the Pretty High School Concert Choir and the director, Jeff Johnson. Again, 
We didn't think this would happen. This is my uh, fourth year teaching here at Fridley, and my only my second alumni concert. So it's kind of been a, a nice, crazy adventure that has been going on. But we are happy to be back to be able to sing with the choir um, as well. And I want to thank Greg. Where's Greg? Thank you so much for this lovely instrument. I mean, this alone was kind of a huge excitement for our choir to be able to have this and keep the arts alive in our school. And I think that's a, a testament to how much you guys contribute to our choir as well. So with our next song, it's called Carry the Light. We have two featured soloists. We have Natalie Larson and Lydia Yang. <laughs>
thank you all for coming this afternoon um, to support our choir. And I um, especially like to thank the Fridley Public Schools and their staff for their ongoing support of this choir. We meet uh, for 10 Monday nights in the high school choir room, and they allow us to do that. They allow us to perform here in the auditorium, and we are so, so grateful to the Fridley Public Schools for that. And especially uh, Jeff Johnson and Dan Wold, or Waldo, who is the, the auditorium manager. Thank you, thank you. And of course, I have to thank our accompanist, Heather Cogswell, for outstanding work. And we have, a, we have quite a large behind, uh, a lot of work that goes on during the year behind the scenes. And we have a small committee that we call the Steering Committee, and they're indicated in your program. You can see who those folks are. And of course, I'd love to uh, thank the Frankenfield Foundation for this wonderful, wonderful instrument and for their presence today. Thank you very much, Greg and family. Thank you. And of course, since I'm thanking folks Dave Ryan and Bruce Messer for making our 25th season so extra special by their presence today, thank you both very much. So, so and of course, the biggest thanks have to go to the singers who put up with me for 10 Mondays, yeah. you know? Um, and they listen to practice music at home and they, and they, they sing so musically and it's just, uh, I told them the other day that I get the best seat or best stand in the house, right? I get to stand right in front and listen to this beautiful music all day, um, all during the concert. It's quite, quite an honor. Um, so just a reminder for you folks to leave your ballots by the door. I think there are music stands back there or put them in a pile. We'll deal with those. And, and now the conclusion of our 25th season. Marching, we are marching, marching, we are marching in the light of God.